Hi. How are you? Come in. Let me take your coat. My name is Julia Malucci, and I wrote a book called I Loved, I Lost, I Made Spaghetti. It is a memoir of food and failed relationships. Do you want wine? I have red wine, white wine, vodka, bourbon, whiskey, vodka. It's about my compulsion to cook for the men in my life. And I've had quite a few boyfriends. And uh, I've, because I'm a person who loves to cook, having grown up in an Italian-American family, the daughter of a mother who was a fantastic cook, I have always been inclined to cook for my boyfriends because it's a natural way for me to show affection. Unfortunately, my relationships have not ended as well as uh, most of my endeavors in the kitchen. Okay, I hope you like what I'm making. It's Sunday, so I'm making the traditional Sunday, Italian Sunday sauce, which is sausage and meatballs. And I hope you like meat and pasta. I hope you eat gluten. <laughs> <laughs> I have worked in publishing for many years, and I think everyone in publishing probably in some way must want to write a book. But I had absolutely no idea what I would ever write a book about. But the last devastating disappointment somehow drove me to my laptop for more than just email, and I started writing the day after Lachlan, uh, the last boyfriend in the book, not that there have been other disappointments since him, but uh, after the day after he left me, I started writing. So how was your day? Tell me everything. I still had no idea what I was going to have a book about, but I was writing about these relationships and I just was telling the story of Lachlan and, I, and then the other ones were coming in as backstory. And I knew that that was still not that, who cares about my boyfriends, I didn't just want to write some chick lit book. But then as I kept writing, I realized how food was interwoven into each of these relationships and that actually seemed to me a unique story. Okay, I better check the pasta because overcooked pasta is the cardinal sin of Italian cooking. Yeah, a lot of single women too say, oh, I'm too smart, men don't like a smart woman, or that, that's all bull. I think that we find, we find what we're looking for. And I have been attracted to the people I have been attracted to because I have my own hesitations about commitment and marriage. Even as much as I fantasize about it, I'm conflicted about it, which, which I also talk about in I Loved, I Lost, I Made Spaghetti. I do have some chapters where I talk about how much I like being by myself and having my own apartment and having my, this very feminine place that no one's messing up with their guitars and their equipment and their male stuff. And I love that. I, do, you know, I sort of have a, I sort of do love my own space. So, I mean, that's, that's one small part of the conflict. There's probably more to it. Buon appetito. It seems that right now, um, men uh, are very into cooking also, uh, and are terrific cooks and, and want to cook for women, but I haven't really gotten in on that whole scene because I'm usually the one who feels busy cooking and, and feels somehow that I have to cook and I have to be the one doing it. Um, so I think the day that I f I'm able to let one of those men cook for me might be the day where I'm on the right track. So how would you like it? And by the way, um, I just looked at my calendar. I'm free for the next 40 years. Do you want to get married? <laughs>